Hi, it's Dave from Mega Points Controllers. In this short video, we'll be announcing the availability of our newest System 2 driver board, the Stahl Kato driver board. This board is suitable for driving up to eight analog stall motors, such as the Tortoise switch machines, or eight Kato Unitrack point motors. So you can set the board for the personality of either Kato compatibility or stall compatibility. Let's have a look on the bench and see the board in action. I'll just walk you through the features on the board. Uh, we have the typical system two 12 volts in on these two connectors, and then the CAN bus H and L if you're using the CAN to control. It also has Wi-Fi and MQTT support built in. Uh, there are four motor connectors here. They're in pairs, so one, two, three, four, and four motor connectors here, five, six, seven, and eight. This board will typically drive a, a Tortoise analog or a Kato Unitrack point motor. It's designed to drive uh, 12 volt motors where the input polarity is reversed to drive it in the opposite direction. So first I'll plug in the uh, Kato points. And if I press an input, in this case on a panel controller, you should see oops, the point blades move one direction and then the other. Right, if you look at the interface for the uh, Kato driver, um, the Kato point motor is selected here in green. If I want to change the personality type now to Tortoise, click it and it will throw up this dialogue saying, are you sure you want to change it? If you set it to stall, then you'll get a red background. So I'll now connect a stall motor. There's a tortoise. You can see the motor output here. So if I operate a button, you can see the stall motor goes across and then powers off and then reverses and powers off. And if I change the motor type from stall, I get the dialogue, yes, to Kato. Don't forget to save your changes. And now if I attach a Kato point motor, let me just uh, pull out a bit so you can uh, see what's happening a little easier. And I'll hook up the Kato point motor, plug it back into the same output number one. Now on the board you can't mix output types, they're either all Kato or they're all stall motors. Ah, and click the button and you can see the blades are moving one way and then the other. Other features of the board, they're all standard system too. There is a termination jumper here. So if, you, if it's the last board on the bus, you can just drop the jumper in and it'll terminate the bus for you with a 120 ohm resistor. On the screen, you have the uh, usual uh, eight V ports for control and the feedback V port as well. So if I set a, a V port on this for feedback, then it will feed back to the panel. So when I throw the point, it's actually the feedback channel that is moving this LED one direction and then the other. On the status log, you can actually see some useful information. So you can see that data is coming in via can, the CAN bus and it's coming in on port one and it's setting port one to on. If I press it again, it'll set it to off. If I press another button, there's nothing attached, but you can see V port eight has now been set to off. So with the introduction of the System 2 Stall and Kato points motor driver, you're now free to mix up uh, Stall, Kato and servos on a System 2 ecosystem. I hope you found the video useful. The user guide uh, is on the website uh, along with product information. So happy hunting and I'll see you in a future video.